Hey everybody, this is Carolyn from Homesteading Family and it's spring officially around here and I know it because we're getting eggs. The days have gotten longer and those chickens have responded by laying many more eggs. So right now we're getting a little over two dozen a day, which I know sounds a lot, but for our large family we use them all. We keep up with them and as soon as we start getting more than we need then we start preserving them for winter. So I wanted to go over today just a few of the basics of getting eggs in your kitchen, what you should, what you shouldn't do, how to handle them, because I'll be putting out a video or two over the next few weeks about starting to preserve those eggs. We'll be doing some pickled eggs this weekend, which is just makes the best deviled eggs, it makes great egg salad sandwich, and is so wonderful in the middle of winter when all of a sudden you're not really getting any more eggs. And um, we'll be looking at uh, water glassing eggs and doing all sorts of great things so that you can preserve this amazing bounty um, from your springtime all the way through next winter when it starts to go ahead and taper off in the egg production a lot. And you know, I love the seasonality of homesteading because spring is really when you get this flush of eggs and then you kind of go a little bit later into a little bit mid-spring and we start getting the milk coming in, the, the cows freshen once the grass greens up and at least that's the way we time it so they can have babies right on fresh green grass when everything's the healthiest and we can get that really good quality milk in. And so we kind of switch our efforts from just preserving the eggs to then making cheese and butter at the height of the healthy season there. And then by the time that's really starting to stock up real well, you're starting to get the vegetables in. And then before long, you know, you've made it back to butchering season in the fall. And it's just this wonderful uh, way to kind of space out your work when you work with the seasons. And so Spring egg season is the first and I just love this. I have for years been trying to get all these different colors and they're so wonderful to have all these different colors of eggs. We have green, we have pink, we have tan and dark, uh, darker uh, kind of brown. Um, let's see, we even, let's see, here's kind of an olive, light yellowy olive green. It might look kind of white on there. We even have a few blue tinted ones and I couldn't find one today. I think I must only have one or two eggs. Uh, hens laying those. We also have duck eggs and we're starting to get a lot of duck eggs in. These uh, the, the ducks really like springtime and they really start pretty heavily in the spring. We're getting some guinea eggs and we're even getting a few goose eggs but we're really encouraging her to go ahead and just sit on her nest and raise us a nice little flock of goslings. We love having our Christmas goose, and I just love having geese around. I'll tell you, they really help with the predator problems. So what do you do when you harvest your eggs, you bring them into the kitchen? Well, first of all, if you find eggs that are dirty, okay, most of our eggs are coming in clean, but if you find dirty eggs, that happens. That's pretty normal, especially spring. It's muddy out. The chickens are walking through the mud, especially the ducks are kind of making muddy messes out of puddles and their undersides are kind of muddy and so the nest boxes get muddy. The first thing to do if you start finding muddy or dirty eggs is to make sure that the straw or the shavings or whatever you're using in your nest boxes is absolutely clean. You want clean eggs coming into your kitchen and the reason for that is you do not want to wash your eggs. God gave these eggs this amazing natural coating that helps them to not be permeable to the air. And as long as that coating is on there, your eggs will last for much, much longer, whether they're in the refrigerator or just out on the counter. And hey, there's another tip for you. Did you know that your eggs did not need to be refrigerated? Here in America, we always buy eggs in the refrigerator section. But if you travel much of the rest of the world, you find actually most of the rest of the world does not refrigerate eggs. As long as they are unwashed and they're clean, your eggs can last for weeks just out on the counter. Now, if you live in a place that's really hot, you know, you're gonna really decrease the amount of time. They say that a day on the counter is equal to a week in the refrigerator. So if you want your eggs to last for longer, go ahead and put them in the refrigerator or some other cooler storage. If your kitchen's cooler, I bet you get a little bit longer than that just sitting on the counter. And sometimes when we have a whole lot of eggs coming in and they're piling up on us, they do. They just sit on the counter until we get to them. And you know, we've just never had a bad egg from doing that for even weeks at a time. So 
don't wash your eggs unless it's absolutely necessary. But if you do get a dirty egg come into your kitchen, what I do is I go ahead and wash that egg and I set it aside to be next used. So we go ahead and wash it, get that, that filth off of it. You really don't want it sitting on there. But go ahead and use it pretty quickly in the next couple of days. You don't want it sitting around without that natural coating, especially after it's been that dirty. And it's not going to store well. So go ahead and just don't try to store those and keep them out and get them into your breakfast the next morning. They'll be great that way. There's nothing wrong with them. You do not have to throw them away. You don't have to feed them to the animals. You can absolutely use them. Just wash them off. Now, let me give you a trick. When Sometimes when you get these eggs and they're really dirty, they are hard to wash. That dirt's really stuck on there. I find that if you just go ahead and get them wet and then walk away for a minute, come on back and then wash them again after they've been wet for a few minutes, it washes all right off. You do wanna wash your eggs always with warm water. Otherwise, if you put cold water on those eggs, um, or hot water, you don't wanna use hot water, but just warm water, uh, the cold water will suck things into the eggs. And if you're already working with a dirty egg, you don't really wanna suck that grime through the eggshell pores and into the eggs. So wash with warm water and you'll be all set to go. Now, occasionally we find a duck or even a chicken who's laid a nest somewhere off off to the side where we haven't found it. She's done a great job. You know, ducks especially will bury their eggs, the geese too. And you can find all of a sudden there's a big clutch of eggs and you're like, oh, that's where all my eggs are going. And you don't really want to just go start cracking those open because you don't know, have those eggs been there for, you know, one day, a couple hours, maybe a couple weeks. And you know, you can get some pretty not nice stuff in your kitchen if you do that. So one way to handle that is to do the bad egg test. And this is just a bowl of just plain old water. It is about room temperature. It's, you know, nothing, not been heated, anything like that. And all I'm gonna do to test how good my eggs are is I'm gonna go ahead and put them right into that bowl of water. Now, if your eggs are good and very fresh, then you know they will sink straight to the bottom. They will lay completely on their side on the very bottom of the bowl. And you'll know those are really fresh eggs. You can do whatever. You can make fried eggs with them. You can do whatever you want with them and they will be very good for them. If they start turning up on their side and instead of laying like this, all of a sudden they're kind of starting to do this floaty thing, kind of one side going up then you'll know that they're getting a little bit older. Now those eggs are still perfectly good and though that is the level that you want to use them for boiled eggs. Because really for boiled eggs, if you wanna be able to peel those things, you gotta be able to get them a little bit older. Um, and so kinda of tipping up. Now if they completely float to the top, I don't crack them in the kitchen, I don't use them in the kitchen, I get them outside away from the house and into, you know, somewhere a long ways away because those things will explode and they're usually getting pretty yucky and don't smell real great by that time and you know I just don't even want to experiment with that in the kitchen I have too many good eggs to have to mess with bad eggs so that's a really really easy way to find out if your eggs are good now something that I just learned is that your average store-bought eggs are at least six weeks old at least six weeks old that's pretty old for an egg when you're thinking about it. I mean, that's a lot of nutrition that started to already get lost in those eggs and they've all been washed because they have to wash those commercial eggs. And so you have just really lost your quality on the eggs by the time you get those things home and then use them. If you were to do this test on the store-bought eggs, you'd probably find that they would at least be tilting, if not starting to pick up. And that's just not acceptable for great quality eggs. If you wanna have good, healthy, and delicious food, you have to start with great ingredients. So good fresh eggs are a great way to go. Now, it also tells you how old those eggs are, how long those things can actually store. I've had eggs store in the refrigerator unwashed for up to six months and still be pretty good quality. Now, maybe they're not gonna make the fanciest, uh, you know, sunny side up fried eggs, but they'll still be fine for scrambled eggs and certainly fine for baking. So you can get away with a lot just storing them in the refrigerator if you have the space for it. Hey, you guys, 
Enjoy, have a happy spring, and I'll get back to you guys in a few days with a pickled egg video. For those of you guys who would like to try that, it's a great way to use the spring bounty and get it on your shelf for times when you need a quick meal or when you just don't have many eggs around and you feel like an egg. So take care guys, happy spring. Hey, for more videos like these, sign up at www.homesteadingfamily.com. Also, follow along on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.